middle straight. Doesn't give him many options. 45. Unless he wants to play a double, and as I mentioned earlier, there's been quite a few in. But I don't see how he can get behind the green now. He looks virtually straight on this. Forty-seven. The, the double it is. If he wanted to play it. So the green did come to Karen Wilson's rescue. He's still in the hunt. Seven in front, 25 left. Yeah, I think once Judd decided to refuse the double, maybe he could have played a better shot than that on the green. Cuba should have been in behind the black if he'd been sort of fussy about the shots. That's not great either. Well, he can knock these in. I mean, we know that. But a bit like the double, it, it's not a certainty he'll play it. Because he's potentially losing the, this frame from this. If he does, I think he's playing safe, thin off the, the green. That's a better shot. I think the trump of the pre-2018 days, before he became a serial ranking event winner might have taken that green on but he's much more of a all-round match player these days he's found that balance between attack and defense when required Well, that's a big error, and you're absolutely right, I think. You know, I think he would have taken either the double or that long green, not thinking about the consequences, but that's why he's now doing all this winning. What a chance to win another frame. Three. And it's a frustrating start to the match for sure for Karen Wilson. He had the chance in the first frame, missed the pink. He was 47 in front in this one, run out of position. And the safety error. Seven. Looks like costing him here. Trump needs blue and pink for 2-0. Forty nine. A great start to the quarter-final for the defending champion, Judd Trump, has punished Kyron Wilson in the first two frames. Two he might have lost. Instead, he's 2-0 up. In this, their 21st meeting, Trump just edging the overall head-to-head 11-9. But as mentioned, he's won on the past four occasions they've met. Most recently this year, this season at the Masters, in a decider, 6-5. Wilson's most recent win came in the final of the ranking championship league in 2020. It's a 90th ranking quarter final appearance today for Trump, 9-0. Going for his 61st semi-final. Another mistake from Wilson. Unraveling a little here for the Warrior. Catching the blue four ball, leaving the easy start. What? Yes, and coming quite close to the pink there, but in doing so, he's finishing low on the black, which is potentially a good thing. 
might be able to screw into the bunch, but of course you can miss the pot on these if you're not careful. <laughs> well, I think he expected to hit something on the way through rather than see the key will go through a s tiny gap. Eight. I think he thought there'd be a little nudge of a red. He's looking if the red two up pots. If it doesn't, it might have to be the other one, the, the low, thin one, into the right corner. Eight. Relief for Karen Wilson that the safety mistake on this occasion has not proved expensive. black at all is a question and would he want to hit the black because if he called it full ball he'd be leaving the red so I think something down the table he'd be nominating let's hear his call which colour he's going to try and hit yellow ball yellow uh, not easy to get directly to this first time It'd be nice if you could just nominate halfway, wouldn't it? And you could decide what you're going to try and hit when the balls are in motion. You could change it to the brown. But you got closer to the brown than the yellow. Actually, it might be better just to change the nomination and play brown. From that angle, it looked a more likely option. Ball. Yeah, I think that's sensible. He's <laughs> played it once and realised that more likely to hit the brown than the yellow and the angle he's coming across. Because you can perfectly do that. That's what you call learning from attempt one. Great shot. As he left this, not easy, however. I think when you write down the line of these shots, it looks easy to just run that to middle, but you've got to find the, the correct angle, queuing over a ball. Not a particularly nice shot to be playing.
Yeah, deciding to refuse it. I think that within that second frame has given him an absolute... Do a lot from his first scoring visit here, but it's a steal, really. It was Wilson's frame to lose, and he, he did end up losing it. Playing on the table, he's not played on all week. Been away from the camera view until now. It's almost a carbon copy of the previous shot he's got to middle. He refused it last time. He may not do this time. It's quite similar. If he can get onto the black is the key. What? Very thin, this. Played it well, left hand check side, stopped the cue ball drifting away, so good shot. Eight. Very much top jaw, and he wasn't certain. I think it actually drops down a little bit from there as well. From that top jaw, just fell down slightly, and ne never in doubt. But it didn't seem that way when he first hit it. Seventeen. He's willing the cue ball on, but it was never quite going to get behind the top in the bunch. Just biding his time there. Not touching.
beautiful shot. Right what? behind the line of it, you can see how straight he cues. It's sometimes a quite difficult angle to find when you're playing a shot with that angle where the cue has to go side cushion, bottom cushion. Played it really well, but now he has to not quite steal this frame, but he has to do something here. Chances aren't coming around very often. Made the final of this tournament back in 2017, losing to Ding. Into the reds, but that could have worked out better. He also made the final, or semi-final, I should say, the last time this tournament was staged, hey. losing to the man that Judd Trump beat for the title, Tepshara Nu, in a decider. Just not happening for Kyron Wilson at the moment. Could have won the first two frames. But he's found another double. Nine. Yes, at first it looked like he was just trying to chase the break, having gone out of position, but thinking about it, it looks like the only red he would have left would have been the one he was playing had he missed it. Just a pink like that in an earlier frame. So he's done well to recover this. 16. 23. Oh, the balls are lovely now. Thirty-one. Just a handful of couple, well, a couple of points in front, but he'll need certainly. <laughs> One of the reds on the other, the extreme right or that or the extreme left, he can't with the four reds in open play win the, the frame at that visit. Thirty two. Forty-four. Forty-five. Yes, he was just looking at what sort of angle he could get on the pink, whether he's considering moving that left hand red. Just making it a slightly easier pot than where it's placed right now. I think he is. 
Can't argue with the way he's played it, though. Beautiful shot. Now, of course, the scenario I was speaking about where we needed two of them are awkward reds. One of them isn't awkward anymore, basically. 51. Still seems like you'll need a little bit more, though. Given that he isn't taking high-value colours, this puts him knocking this in will be 24 in front. So still a little bit of work to do. He's got a very methodical setup for each shot. Kyron Wilson, he kind of steps into the shot. Has his little routine to help him focus on every shot he plays. And these are big moments for him, frustration for sure in the way in which he lost the first two frames, which he might have won. Vital from his point of view, he doesn't let this one slip. I think the key is here, he'll only need that red down the cushion. He won't need the colour to follow it. So if he can land on it positionally, then I just don't see him missing it along the cushion on this table. 58. If he's not that close to it, he might. And I don't think he can get right in behind it here. The key was heading up just just short of the middle pocket. Yeah, as close as he could have possibly got. I just think on this shot you don't try and 65. do a Ronnie O'Sullivan yesterday where you play at pace, worried about missing. If you roll this in, I just don't think you'll miss it. You'd have to be quite out of accuracy to do so. Table's playing so nicely down the cushions. <laughs> Tackled that very well, I think, this break. It's been a good effort from Kyron Wilson. He needed this frame. Looks as though it might have gone wrong before he executed the double into the left centre. Well, he's missed the black. Kenny Merrison, 66. So 33 the difference. Trump needs two. Two. I just think it was a classic case of a player in the back That's of his mind thinking two. he'd done enough. If he needed the black, I don't think he'd have missed the black. It's just that you relax slightly after the red goes in. Now, just an outside chance of Judd Trump still in the frame. They're going to have to be good snookers, though, for Cohen to give away two four-point penalties. Because he might try and get one on pink and black, and that would be one to tie. Seven. It's going to have to be a good one, because uh, you don't get many chances on the last two balls to get your snookers. If you don't get the snooker, your opponent rolls the ball over the pocket, so probably now or never with this Twelve. attempt. And Trump, having failed to get the snooker, concedes. So, Kyron Wilson is in the match. He had to win that frame. He has done. It's 2-1 Trump. Still waiting for Kyron Wilson. 
looking for his second semi-final of the season, of course, for Judd Trump. He's chasing his fifth ranking title of this campaign. He's been in seven finals. Extraordinary consistency once again. Became only the fifth player to win three ranking titles back to back. In winning in Brentwood, Wuhan and Belfast. And of course he's since added the German Masters. When we get to the semis tomorrow, we're up to the best of 11 frames, first to six, and then, of course, the final over two sessions, the best of 19, first to 10 for that first prize of £170,000. And for Kyron Wilson, well, he'd have to win the tournament in order to sneak into the Tour Championship in a couple of weeks' time, a tournament he made the final of last season. Of course, Judd Trump, no such worries for him, head and shoulders above everyone on the one-year ranking list. Four. But Trump break. pegged back. Wilson will feel a whole lot better for winning that third frame. He's a terrific competitor, very good temperament. Now looking to share the spoils at the interval. There's quite a straightish angle on both yellow and green. He's going to try and top it through. A very accurate shot required here, positionally. This is, this is an absolutely brilliant shot, that is. It's a superb positional shot. Sorry. It's hard to judge it with the top spin you need, and Kimball's travelling in and out of bolt. Superb. Four. This time, I'm sure we're trying to get into the bunch in a big way here. Keeble to... Oh, no, he's waiting one, playing that little cannon. Interesting. Thought he was going to pile into it. 11. <laughs> 12. Twenty. Rather lost the cue ball there. Just stayed out. Judge Goodness, Trump. it was close. 20. Very thin cut. It was, but we've seen a lot of those go in this week. I think if you do miss them, you've, you've hit them wrongly, put it that way. He did, I, thought, I honestly thought he could have gone into the bunch earlier in the frame and got the reds open, but he didn't want to take the gamble. He knows what he's doing, goodness me, but in the end there were not that many reds to choose from. This is tough. Really difficult shot queuing down over the ball. And playing a sort of a half ball, red to middle, not nice.
Well, it can be sometimes uh, get a little tactical in a situation like this with uh, the black over the pocket. I think we know the rest. You can end up when all the reds go to that side of the table. But they're always played there in safety. So Judd Trump has to be very careful here. Play off the side of the bunch. We can leave a red to the left corner. That's a good shot. This is very good, in fact. Even uh, Colin Wilson taps the table to acknowledge it. Well, if he wants to play this, and he can leave the cue ball down it's close to this pocket, bottom left. You know, if the red does go in, then he can obviously take the black that he left over the right corner a few shots before, because you don't know for sure where anything's going to finish. I think he can get to the red. Yeah, he can definitely get to it. Turn down the pot. Well, that's done nothing to shorten the length of this frame, pushing the red close to the black. That pocket out of commission at the moment. And as we know, the reds have a habit of gravitating magnet-like in that direction in circumstances like this. Well, he's playing the double again. We've seen all of these go in. This is a big one to be playing. Yeah, not close, but it was a way of breaking the almost stranglehold of this frame, the way it stands.
think he's now looking at something. At first, I thought he was looking at the pot up into the green pocket, but now I think he's looking at a half ball contact with the other red in off into the right middle. This would be a well, he's an incredible shot if you got it. I don't think it's very easy. In fact, I know it's not. Just back underway, meanwhile, on table two. Jackson Page two, Elliot Slesser two. Slesser having been 2-0 behind, winning the fourth frame on the black after Page had missed the pink, which would have at least guaranteed him the chance of a re-spotted black. Huge match for both of those players. Page appearing in his first ever ranking quarter-final. And of course, for all of the players remaining currently outside the top 12 on the one-year list, victory this weekend would get them into the Tour Championship with all of the fringe benefits that that would involve, not least the £15,000 that you get just for showing up in Manchester. Yeah, I mean, John Higgins, the, the player who's sweating out that, isn't he? He doesn't want anyone to progress. He doesn't want Jose Vafai to win. And uh, other players, as you pointed out, they're not already in it, going on and lifting the title this week would... Uh, Put him out of the top 12 for that tour championship. Oh, what an unlucky effort that was. How close was that? I don't think you can believe it's not gone in. Certainly did a tour of the lip of the pocket. Wilson shaking his head, looking perplexed. It was actually a great bit of queuing, but unfortunately for him, not quite good enough. It seemed to go in and come out again. Such are the fine margins in this sport. Yeah, he's uh, feeling thoroughly peeved about that one. I don't think he's left anything, though. Not easy. No. So, it, I mean, it could have been a whole lot worse, in fact. Taking a bit of a, a turn, this frame, isn't it? To the point where, it's, uh, despite these two being very attacking players, going to get extremely tactical with that black there is the reason for it. I, mean, I don't think uh, if Cara looked over re rack well, the, I don't think Judd would want one. The 20 point lead is not huge, but uh, something. One of those deliberate miscues, Mark Williams style, almost aiming to miss the cube or just hit the outside edge of it in order to avoid the push shot. Yeah, I mean, look, it's a legal shot, but I actually don't like it. I think they should ban the shot because it just doesn't look right. You're not even playing it off the, the main part of the tip, but it is a legal shot, so fair enough. Until it is uh, outlawed, it will remain a legal way of avoiding a push shot, I suppose. But anyway. This stalemate, of course, a direct result of the black going over the pocket and blocking things up on this right-hand side of the table as we look. Well, now, 
That's the mistake, and that's exactly what Karen Wilson has been hoping for. What a chance he's got now. One. Well, it's not quite a gift from now, but it's a marvellous chance. Take the score Eight. level. Nine. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty one. It's strangely a bit awkward still. He, he shouldn't be, but he really wants to get that right hand red that's near the pocket out of the way, and he wants to ensure that he doesn't hit the red to the left of it in doing so, and then it becomes plain sailing. So that's why he's played it like this. The black does go to the left corner, so. Now that that's tidied up, 26. it's, as I say, from a couple of frames down, superb chance to get level. Set up a very interesting match if it did, but it's still got to do... 27. You saw the frustration in Karen Wilson's face earlier in this frame when he just missed that very tricky red to half Sorry. a pocket into the right centre, but he'll be delighted if he gets out of this mini session level at two, all having lost the first two. He is a real battler, Wilson. They don't call him the warrior for nothing. Got a very even temperament. That's why he's done so well at the Crucible. So many deep runs, including that final appearance nearly four years ago now. For the two. Well, once again, you wouldn't call this a simple shot, but players have not really been missing these. Certainly a table where if you aim at the, the top jaw from that sort of shot, I don't think you're ever going to miss one. They seem to drop down slightly anyway. That one was very clean. Missed anyhow. Good shot. Worth the gamble, I think. And uh, the safe red is not really is any, any problem for him. If, if anything, it actually helps him. A red going safe because he won't be needing it. it gives him a bit of extra insurance if something, something good should uh, go wrong, which doesn't seem very likely here. 51.
So that red that stayed all around the middle pocket but didn't go in, that Karen agonised over, did not really matter because the chance came soon after from the mistake from Judd. 56. Fifty-seven. Well, it's taken a while this frame after that right corner pocket got blocked by the black early on, but this is frame ball for Karen Wilson, and he'll be. Very satisfied from 2-0 behind, having had chances in the first two frames to get out of this little mini-session unscathed. Ideal for him. And equally, Judd Trump will be a little disappointed in that 2-0 lead that he's not got a cushion to show for his efforts. So it's going to be a best of five from here for a place in the semi-finals. Ken Marison. 70. Excellent break of 70 from Karen Wilson then to level up the match. Judd Trump has conceded. 50 behind with only 35 left. So they're off for their 15-minute break and all to play for when they return. Nothing to choose in this their 20th meeting. Trump and Wilson at two all. After the interval and it's a defensive one. He's coming off the cushion just to nestle into the bunch but he'll be pretty happy because he had chances in the first two frames was well ahead in the second Trump pinched it on the black but he's fought back in a typically tenacious fashion <laughs> tie things up at two all this is their 21st Trump having won 11 of the previous nine including the most four recent encounters between the pair including of course that final frame decider at the masters back in january you have to go back to the 2020 championship league final which was a ranking event for the last time wilson got the better of trump that was over the best of five frames of course just undercut the long red they have played at the World Championship. That went the way of Wilson on his way to the final back in 2020, 13-9 in the quarters. And of course, the most memorable victory for Wilson will be when he defeated Trump in the 2015 Shanghai Masters final, his first ranking event. Success. Just a reminder that later today, Terrific match in the offing between Iran's Hossein Vafai. He's got a great chance of getting into the Tour Championship and will be in provisionally if he beats Ding Zhongwei, who's been in great form this week. And then Neil Robertson, who needs to win the tournament to avoid having to qualify for the Crucible this year. He's up against the 2013 world finalist, Barry Hawkins, as Wilson nearly finds a plant there. A little cannon on the pink. Not intended, obviously, but no apparent damage done.
That would have to go down as a lead off. Trump normally deadly from that kind of distance, hand on the table from long range, but not this time. So, half a chance here for Karen Wilson if he can cut this red in. And in it goes. So he's in first in frame five. What? Just the one ranking semi final this season in Berlin at the German Masters. One other quarter final. Apart from that, fairly slim pickings for Wilson this season. But it's a great time of the season, obviously, to find your best form with the World Championship less than a month away now. And he has a great pedigree there. Five. Wow, that is a surprise. Could you a short range cut, which he's overcut. He'll be disappointed with that one for sure. The good news is he doesn't appear to have left anything for Trump. Even so, it was an opportunity to make a sizable break that's gone begging for Wilson. Trump forced to play a containing safety with the red over the pocket. Couldn't play up to Bork because he would have left it for his opponent. I think they've had decided on a, a re-rack, which uh, seemed very likely, didn't it? Yeah. With the, the red over the pocket. We'll do it all again in uh, frame five. Yeah, and Trump will be... Because Wilson had the chance early in that frame to make something substantial, missed the short range. And that resulted in the stalemate. So we'll go again in frame five. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jackson Page looking to seal a first ever ranking semi-final appearance. He's in again in the frame he needs to win on table two against Elliot Slesser. Currently on a break of 46. And it's a, a golden opportunity, actually. I'm sure he'll be feeling a few nerves, although he never really appears to be such an instinctive player. As Neil mentioned earlier, he just tends to get down on the shot and fire the cue in the direction of the pocket and this week they've all been going in sort of sea ball pop ball is his his, uh, his method isn't it he's playing brilliant stuff and uh, he's on the on the cusp over there that's on discovery plus uh, discovery plus of course Judd as Judd Trump gets this re-racked 
frame back underway. That's unlucky and uh, got so close to it. The red stayed close to the pocket. It was a difficult one. Queuing over the top of a bolt colour. But current opportunity here. All over on table two and it's congratulations to Jackson Page. Another terrific win for him. Backing up his victories over John Higgins and Mark Selby with a 5-2 win over Elliot Slesser. So a first semi-final in a ranking event for Page, and of One. course he will play the winner of this match. Of course the other significant thing for Jackson Page is the Ranking points Six. that he's earned in getting to the last four. When you consider his tour position was in some doubt when he arrived in Yushan. All of that's been put to bed now. Guaranteed himself £32,500 and points for getting to the last four. Nice crisp pot from Wilson. Of course, the other scenario this week, it could be that you have Jackson Page playing Kyron Wilson in one semi-final and it could be Hossein Vafei and uh, Neil Robertson in the other, which of course opens everything up for the Tour Championship because uh, somebody of those four will win it and be in it, which might bring Mark Selby's participation 13. in the Tour Championship in Manchester into some doubt. Anyway, for now, this tournament in itself is one to be considering. So many different things happening in the game with the Neil Robertson saga of how he's not likely to be in the 16, but he could win this week. That would be some effort as well. You know, and just on a personal level, Karen Wilson has Thank been you. not quite having the season we would expect of someone so high in the rankings. You know, he's been struggling a bit. To just in between a lot of centuries, he's not really been getting the results that he would hope for. This win would mean a lot. He's down to 11 in the world. He's been as high as four. So, you know, it would give him a boost. A big run here. And if he could beat his old rival, friendly rival these days, Judd Trump, that would be quite something. One thing is a great competitor. And that worked out nicely. Didn't know too much about it. 
28. <coughs> Thirty four. Very keen for the keyboard not to just travel too far there. This is a very good opportunity. The Reds in the middle of the table, they, they, they're slightly closely grouped, but they can't all be got on individually. Forty-two. Forty three. Fifty. Fifty-one. Uh, has he not gone far enough? He'd be absolutely horrified if he hasn't. Fifty-eight. Because really, he's got so much room up the table. He can either finish a ball higher and finish on the red. He's played at the right hand red of the five, or play with more pace and of course the red on the pink spot so quite honestly it's a really bad position for a shot to, to finish where he has because he's got so much room up the table Ken Merson 58 be annoyed 58 yes useful but I think the story of the week has been if you get in first and don't make too many then you can, you're vulnerable to uh, someone Dishing up on you. say that it was a good shot but at the end of his break Kyron Wilson in that safety shot had a long hard look at what he'd left Judd the key ball did end up on the bolt cushion so it might just amount to the fact that he rolled it in and he's really interested in the black but I think he might still have a dart at it if he plays a safety shot it's gonna have to be a good one he wouldn't want to put whichever color he plays safe from safe Itself, he wouldn't want it to go Green near a cushion. Judge Chong, one. Interesting shot that because he's now the the left hand red is the one that Kyron has to play, and it's the only relatively safe ball on the table. Goodness me, what has he done? What has he done? He's done all sorts of damage. 
Well, there's a new favourite for the frame, isn't there? Even though Trump's 57 behind, there's not a safe ball on the table now. Well, he's sitting in his chair. He looks pretty horrified. Yes, he. ultimately what he has done, he's missed a long pot. But the worst bit was the, the red just careering into the cluster reds. I mean, it all comes back to not so much that shot, but the positional error that ended that break when right. he was in absolute command in the frame. He's not anymore, as you say. Trump will know this is an opportunity to strike a, a serious blow in his bid to get to a 61st ranking semi-final. This wouldn't be the worst red to play on, this red to right middle. Bye. Because it's, as I say, it's, it's the only ball that is remotely difficult to get on unless you're right behind it. So now, Sorry. what is there on the table to save Kyron Wilson? <laughs> the game's not so easy that this is a certainty, but you feel that he's got a great chance of winning the frame here. I suppose the... He has got the issue of the Kill. the red that's blocking the right corner. So Sorry. you might want to play on that sooner rather than later to bring the other red out into play that's next to the black. Eighteen. And what colour will he play on is the question. From that red near the pocket. 19. He's got to just make sure he does this right. And once he's come up with a plan, stick to it. Because you'll need position on the colour from the red over the pocket because the red by the black is... There's not a lot of room. To, to, to land in behind it. Interesting to see which route he takes here. You could have to play the red close to the pocket, obviously. But now, as I say, imperative that he gets a good angle on his next colour. 25. Six. It's not a good angle on his next colour, I'm afraid. Uh, he can still engineer a way around it, manufacture a shot perhaps to screw around the back of the black on the red. So there you have it. It went wrong in the end, so it wasn't a certainty. 26. Karen Wilson will be mighty relieved that the error he made didn't cost him the frame directly. Still 31 in front, so he only needs the red to make the frame safe. Yeah, I mean, he, he hasn't got to go for something here. You know, I think he desperately wants to pop the red here and now, but he could play a meaningful safety shot if he doesn't think there's a pot on. <coughs> he needs cover here. I'm not sure about that shot. He's, a, he's not bad in the end, but there was an anxious moment. I don't think he played it particularly well.
Yeah, it's a good shot. And he's played it, the red one, far enough not to really leave even a, a shot to nothing option to get the frame one for Kyron. He could play the red onto the black and take the cue ball round. And of course, the black might end up going safe, which would be in his favour. Sure, he is going that way, but. Putting the black safe the way he played it. Again, not a lot wrong with that shot. He won't have that one back, that's for sure. Both players have had chances to win this frame. Trump, of course, had the opportunity to steal before trying to develop the final red and in the process missing the pink. Wilson going for his third consecutive frame. Turning into quite a battle this match. They've been on the table for over two hours now. Still only at the midway point of the match. Pretty close to the double kiss there. Yeah, it's a big frame, all right, and uh, Kyron hasn't yet quite put it to bed. really in his interest because Judd will certainly take the invite to get the black out from there. It might be easier to pop from in the middle of the table than where it is. If he's looking for a counter attack now it just feels like, I mean he was already been in once with a chance but it does feel like whoever pots the red is likely to win the frame. Of course Kyron, well that would be enough anyway but if it was Judd, the clearance from here, nothing to stop him. the red down the table and use the pink and black as a shield to get snookers. I think, I think he's quite a big, big target. It's well played. So that's actually quite troublesome. It, okay, it might not be a very difficult snooker to hit, but it's the kind of snooker that when you do hit it, you don't really have any complete control of where the red or the cue ball finishes. I mean, he could, he could fluke it or he could stick it up. It's one of those, you don't know. Played it well, though.
was that was a treble kiss. Goodness. I know, and he's lost all control. He has put the yellow a little awkwardly, but as you say, hit it double kissed and then hit it again. Pretty tense frame this. Trump back in. He's got the yellow obviously now to negotiate. Yeah, he's a bit straight. Well, certainly the angle on the blue almost takes him away from the yellow, not in behind it. <laughs> so difficult to get in behind the ball using screw like that. He, of course, he missed a pink earlier in the frame to middle, trying to force it, taking the cue ball around the angles. So Kyron Wilson breathes again, putting the yellow safe. Accidentally worked out well. Joe Kong, six. Goodness me. He's trying to hit quite a bit of that. Far and miss. Judge from four. Judd, I wonder if he was considering having it put back from where it is. I mean, he doesn't, I don't think Kyra's in a lot of trouble here. But he's seemingly now, you see it again, must be trying to just graze off the, the yellow because I'm, I'm pretty sure he could hit this most of the time with right hand side into the cushion. Just want to catch it very thin. Yeah, yeah. It's important re um, replacement though, because you know the fact that it is a tight one as to how much you can hit. It's got to be done right. Shang Tao, the referee. Now, normally when that circle starts flashing, it means it's bang on. I mean, that looks pretty much bang on, to be honest. Oh, nearly crept in behind the green there. It's, I think both players really feel the importance of this frame. I think if uh, Judd lost it, he'd say, OK, well, I probably could have won it. If Kyron lost it, he'd be more than disappointed. Frame two was another one he, he probably should have won. And uh, it was taken from him. That was for Judd to lead 2-0.
if nothing else, he's got the cue ball on the cushion and the object will safe, but there's a bit of a dodgy looking shot there. <laughs> Thirty minutes, and of course we also had the re-rack that isn't included in that time. Officially, the re-rack frame didn't happen, so closer to forty, really. But a vital frame, obviously. Wilson looking for his third in a row. Cue ball. Flirting with the centre pocket, that would have been calamitous for Wilson. <laughs> it certainly would, yeah. And, uh, you know, you can't say, well, he, kn he knew what he was doing there because he actually would have been very unsure seeing that go somewhere near the middle. Might still be cuttable, this, though. I think he went for it all right. Well, Karen will still need yellow and green due to the uh, four points you gave away earlier it would have been one pot otherwise so we'll need to play this in such a way to get round the table in behind green it feels almost the sort of vibe of a deciding frame doesn't it this and now he's fluked a snooker We may yet have a decider, in which case we're going to be detained for some time with a possible four frames still to come after this one. But they've had plenty of close matches down the years, not least their most recent encounter at the Masters. That went the distance. In the meantime, Trump has got the issue here of not only hitting this yellow, but not leaving it with Wilson only a couple of pots away from 3-2. Now hoping for the best, and it certainly could have worked out worse than that. If you're just joining us, Jackson Page is the first player through to the World Open semi-finals. A terrific performance again from him today to defeat Elliot Slesser 5-2. Playing in his first quarter-final, now looking forward to his first ranking semi-final against the winner of this match tomorrow. Later, Hossein Vafai against Ding Zhengui, Neil Robertson against Barry Hawkins. Doing pretty well at defending some awkward positions here. Judge Trump. At the moment, he's been put in a few difficult scrapes by, by Karen Wilson. <laughs> Not this time, though. He can get through the gap and what if he can lay a snooker of his own, get the cue ball just to the left of the yellow here. Oh, he wanted a thicker contact on the 
the black to hold it there. Brown's a bit safer now, which is beneficial for Wilson, given that he only needs yellow and green as things stand to make the frame safe. Well, the Brown's back into play again. What a battle this is proving to be now between this pair. The first couple of frames were pretty swift. Wilson fighting back to two each, now looking to edge in front. The other interesting thing now is that the green may not be potable to the left corner. Because uh, that'll be affecting both players, but Karen will need it. Has he got the snooker? Might be able to just get through to an edge of that yellow. not be too bad as he gone so far that the yellow can't be potted a tight one this could he pot the yellow without hitting the green first that's because the yellow might not even go very comfortably so it's one of those i think he might be able to pot that but it's a touch and go Well, now the black is covering the left corner pocket for the green anyway. So there could still be some way to travel in this frame, which is already well over half an hour in length. It was a good chance, but again, it would not have been enough to seal the frame. In fact, I don't know what shot it would have left him on the green. Meaningful. But either way, Judd's got the same problem here. Pots are yellow and he's either snookered on the green or he's got a, a, a not an easy safety shot. So there's no value. To 
the point where he's not even going for it. Can I understand why? I'll have him more trouble than what it was worth to go for that. Yeah, he held his hand up there because had it not been for the intervention of the middle pocket jaw, he could even have potentially left the yellow there for Trump as it is. He's snookered. Really gruelling battle, this fifth frame. It's like a match within itself. But obviously with the black where it is, the green is going to be difficult. He's made some good escapes from snookers. That was another one. And, uh, the little tap on the table from Kyra in there to acknowledge a good shot. Go for this one. He didn't go for the yellow earlier, but he's going to try and make some inroads into this frame somehow. But of course, the potting goes a little bit. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> it's an odd frame, isn't it? So close to going in off the black there. <laughs> that Think would have been significant, wouldn't it? Because it'd have been 25 in it, cue ball in hand on the yellow. So that was fortunate. One of those frames which both players will be happy to forget pretty quickly, but it'll be doubly galling, obviously, for whoever comes out on the wrong side of it after so much investment in this frame. Just now been going in excess of 40 minutes. And that doesn't include the re-rack. Now here's a, well, I was going to say a possible way of getting the, the green into play, but the cue will actually, the yellow stop just prior to that. I thought it was going to go a little further down. I don't think he can do anything with the green here. Well, this does look awkward now. What on earth do you do here? He can actually get through to it, goodness me. He can get through. From the overhead, it looked for all the world like it was going to be a snooker. <laughs> Great effort. And of course, he bananaed it around the black to get to there. 
would have been the shot of the tournament had he knocked the green over a pocket. A little unlucky not to have done. But at least they've uh, got rid of the yellow. They're on that yellow for a long time. He's still in with a chance. If he could get the cube over to where the black is, push the green up the table, you know, he could land a very awkward snooker here. The way he's gone, he had less, well, certainly fewer balls that he could actually get the snooker behind. Oh, now the pink is obscuring the green in terms of that left corner. Seems an awfully long time ago now that Karen Wilson took on the long red, missed it, and seemed to have left them all on for Trump. In the end, he missed in trying to get on the final red, and we've had a lot of snooker since then, but this frame still undecided. It's turned into an epic, isn't it? I mean, it's not quite the epic that uh, Kyron Wilson played against Anthony McGill at the Crucible. That was... Uh, I mean, that was, you could have written a book on, on a single frame there of what happened. Uh, but it's uh, sort of, it's certainly going to take some winning. Nineteen in it, so Wilson will need green and brown as things stand if he's to finally clinch this frame. Paul has got here, whatever safety shot he plays, it's quite hard to avoid uh, the pink and black. He might be able to play to the right side of the green, but if he's trying to push the green up and down the table, the, the pink and black does look a big target to, uh, to be trying to avoid. to do and uh, very difficult pot hang on it's not these balls haven't stopped rolling yet well <laughs> uh, it, there's good and bad news here it's not all good news with the fluke when you see the table again you'll see what the bad news is <laughs> incredible really he's absolutely hit the cover off that green somehow gone in and he's full ball snooker behind the blue yeah, a lot to take in here, isn't there? I mean, that, the, the uh, green ball has travelled an awfully long way. I don't know what, what you, how you feel if you're Kyron Wilson about all that, whether you're annoyed about the fluke still, but I suppose a lot would depend on what happens here. It's to know how you would feel sitting in that chair. 
I think he might have walked out if Trump had landed behind the brown. Not again, surely. Oh, no. Well, I know how he feels now. Because that is unbelievable. He's got to take advantage, but that is, that is tough. Goodness me, that's tough. Well, have you ever seen two more outrageous flukes back to back? Extraordinary. What a way for this marathon fifth frame to be decided, if indeed that is the case. Trump's still got to pop the last two balls, of course. I don't know what angle he's got on this pink, you know? I mean, if it's straight, he hasn't really got the, the best of shots to get on the black. <coughs> yeah, I mean, that's... It's the worst angle, actually. Anything either side, you've got a way of getting on the black here. He might still be able to, but it's not simple. Well, this is a horror frame to lose for Karen Wilson. He has been incredibly unlucky. There you go. 50 minutes. And remember, we had a re-rack as well after about 10. So it's been an epic, but this for a 3-2 lead for Judd Trump. Incredible. That is a thoroughly galling frame for Karen Wilson to lose. Two outrageous flukes consecutively from Judd Trump. He looks a bit bewildered. Goodness knows how Karen Wilson is feeling right now. But it's Trump, in the end, who leads this quarter-final. So, Judd Trump, 3-2 up. What an extraordinary frame and an even more remarkable finale in the end. Karen Wilson, well, he must wonder what he's done to deserve that. Two quite outrageous flukes from Trump. Back-to-back -back on green and brown. I've given him the frame in the end. What a battle it was. Basically an hour, if you include the re-rack which feels longer than an hour ago, frankly. But anyway, here we are at 3-2, and there's still a lot of snooker to be played, of course. First of five to go through to play Jackson Page tomorrow. And we're only two and a quarter hours away from the evening session when our feature will be Hossein Vafai of Iran against the home favourite Ding Zhongwei. Neil Robertson playing Barry Hawkins in the other quarterfinal on Discovery+. Plus. I was a little worried, actually, that um, after that outrageous into a frame whether Kyron Wilson will actually come back at all from the... Uh, the mercifully, he has. But that was painful for him. That was painful. That was a, a horror frame. Anyway, is it time to regroup? Well, we talk a lot about his resilience, his tenacity, his warrior-like attributes. He's got all of those, and he's going to need them now, Wilson, after losing a frame like that. A terrific opening red and uh, I'll say one thing for Judd I mean there must have been an element of slight embarrassment about those two flutes I mean Green and Brown just ended up travelling all around the angles and went in um, but you still have to, to take the rest of the balls I mean you can't feel Can too much guilt Keeble's gone too far here you know you've got to take it there'll be an inst instance when it happens to you you'd like to hope not very often but uh, Giving him back the lead, which he may not deserve, quite honestly, on the run of play. Well, he elected to take on what was a very difficult plant, and it's a chance for Kyron Wilson. He's left the red. One. 
Eight. Nine. That's no good. That's the worst thing that could have happened. Don't, I don't know whether he played the cannon in the red or actually just played beyond it. But he's done neither one thing nor t'other there. And now he's playing a plant, which is not easy. In the same way that Judd played his. Played it well. But not really 17. looking like he's going to get any more from this chance. It's not even where the keyboard's landed anyway. Okay, Merson, 17. That's another mistake from Trump, pushing the red into a potable position. So a second chance for Wilson early in this sixth. He's got some reds open in the process. straight on it with uh, no way of getting to the bottom of the cue ball. It's too close to the cushion. And that limited considerably what he could achieve. Now, if he plays his red up into the green pocket, it's the more likely of the two. Red to middle is very narrow. Awkward queuing as well. Well, he probably should have made more of that as well. So two chances of which not a great deal has happened so far for Kyron. Small lead is all he's got. One. So there wasn't anything particularly unlucky about what happened in this frame so far. But Chad has got a chance. Might just be feeling that maybe it's his day. Eight. Nine. Well, that tried his best to stay out. Quite a big target, the, the pink and the two reds below it from that left side coming in, if he wanted to go into the bunch. Uh, he must have found something in there, another plant that he prefers. It's the sort of plant, if he's going to have to get it now that Never. he's played on it. Just off straight, that's fine. Up for the pink. Tell. Uh, 
That's very well cued. It's hard to get real pace on the ball when you're cueing from the side cushion like that. 17. Eighteen. Twenty three. Twenty four. Well, maybe it was to some degree 31. out of being shell-shocked by the circumstances in which he lost the previous frame, but Kyron Wilson has missed a couple of good scoring opportunities in this one. And a serious danger now. It's going to come back to bite him. Trump 10 in front. Not much safe. No, and uh, lead of 16 points, so he'll know that he'll need, well, okay. three reds anyway from here. Thirty-nine. nine. Depending on which colours he takes, of course, we'll determine whether he will eventually need the other red. But his lead is 23 points now, so I mean he, he could he could play on the red below the black, but he'd be very unwilling to, I would say. It's kind of the easy red to get on, but of course probably the more difficult to pot. Although you kind of get the feeling if you rolled it down the cushion, he would get it on here. He's going to go out of his way to play on the other red. It's a nice flick. That won't make Kyron Wilson feel any better. He's that full on, he's got no shot. 53. All the nudges are going the way of the man of the table. Red and the blue would suffice for Trump to leave Wilson needing a snooker. 54. Yeah, but I think he would, uh, and clearly what you're saying is absolutely right. You know, we wouldn't feel comfortable until that red is potted as well. It's, it's been that kind of day where something can go wrong, isn't it? He might even end up playing a snooker himself just to ensure that uh, he maintains the advantage here. 59. Yeah, no heroics from Trump. Just a solid safety and guaranteed snooker with Wilson needing a snooker. So he's got to hit this red and leave it safe. Otherwise, he's going to be two down with three to play. Good hit. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Karen Wilson will feel the world is against him right now and he's got an awful lot to do to turn this match around from here. It's just not happening for him. John Trump in firm control leading by four frames to two. Frame seven, John Trump to break. John Trump then breaking off in frame seven, the frame he needs for a place in the semi-finals. It's a long road back now for Karen Wilson, not just the score, but I'm sure he's still thinking about the way in which he lost that fifth frame, too extraordinary. Yeah, I mean, of course, you could argue he had chances in, the, in that frame as well that uh, got the flukes against him, but it yeah, didn't mean he deserved to have that happen. He's probably not feeling it's going to be his, his, his day now. I mean, if he could turn this around and win, then he, he's kind of gone against the the grain a little bit, isn't it? I mean, he's 
might have been thinking that maybe his luck was about to change. He's not had the best of seasons. But no evidence of it on what we've seen. Oh, no, please, no. If that goes in there, that would... <laughs> I don't think there's any words if that had gone in. Anyway, he's not actually been left over the pocket either. That's the other thing. It's kind of a very thin snick from there. Well, that was lucky. What? Kind of put his hand up, I suppose, you have to do, really. You might think that's only the... The thin end of the wedge, really, as far as what he should be getting. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. Seventeen. Now the red at the bottom of the bunch is potable to the left corner. And now other reds are going to be disturbed in potting it. Twenty-five. <coughs> Didn't have a lot of angle to play with. It was quite well Sorry. struck in the end. Thirty-three. <coughs> well, that's okay. I don't think he played it particularly confidently, actually. But he has Sorry. just nudged a red or two him to play. Thirty nine. Wilson's job here to banish those understandable feelings he might have that this just isn't going to be my day after 44. what happened in the fifth frame. The reality is if he can make the most of this chance, he'll only be one behind with two to play. Every chance he could still turn the match his way. Forty-five. Lovely shot. Nice stun run through there. Really goes to the top of the ball with the top spin shots, doesn't he? Right at the top there. Maximises the amount of spin you get on. Fifty-two. 
53. He's made three breaks over 50 in this match. The highest, the 70 he made 50. to level at two each. Of course, the 58 he made in the fifth was ultimately to no avail. Oh my goodness, are you kidding? He's overcut the red. Yeah, too yeah, much right, thought right. of the uh, the nudge off the bunch, I think. I must say, I did think it was in when he hit it. But what a gift he's given here. Well, we've been here before, Wilson with a hefty lead, but the table looking very inviting for Trump for an effective counter in the frame he needs for victory. So if he can get on the black here off this red, you could make a case for him being the favourite. Yeah, he's not perfectly on the black. I mean, he might have to go up the table for the, the red, what? the other side of the blue. But if he was to land on that one, then I certainly would think that you're right, that it becomes favoured in the frame. It would be an unbelievable steal. And this time, luck really didn't play a part. I think the previous shenanigans in this match really has made all the difference. Nine. May feel that he's on top at the moment, Trump generally. But, you know, if he doesn't take this chance and get the match one five two, he mightn't win at all. So he needs to be very mindful of that. It could be now or never. On these easy tables, he mightn't get a chance again in the next two frames. 16. Trump's highest break in this match, a relatively modest 67, which he made in the opening frame. Made 59 in the previous one. It's been a real battle, but the fifth frame it just feels as rather knock the stuffing out of Kyron Wilson. Well, I think it would have done so <laughs> to almost anybody, wouldn't it? Two consecutive flukes on the colours. Well, the ball was just travelling all around the table both times. They say luck evens it's itself out over a period of time, but what is the period of time? Is it over your lifetime or over a match? Because yeah, it doesn't always do that. I would think I can think of players I would call lucky players and other players who seem to generally get a lot of misfortune in matches. Sorted. Sorted one. That's a good shot if he's on that top, that left hand red, because he didn't have a lot of room to play with there. 38. The other one went anyway, but still a well struck shot. 39. And it's not a good shot. I mean, I'm sure he'd be okay, but. What happened to the keyboard? It hit the cushion and just seemed to die. The cushion's been fine all week, but certainly he either underhit that or it didn't react very well from the cushion. Bit of noise in the arena and Trump wisely getting back. But you could see from his body language he was frustrated to leave the cue ball where it is. So for Karen Wilson. Yeah, it was Recovery was on, wasn't it, on that shot? Someone was talking, or there was a voice you could hear, quite loud in the background, but he, 
It mercifully didn't put him off. It's looking like a very frustrating day for that man. Would have been thrilled to be two each at the interval from 2-0 behind. 51. Had chances clearly in that extraordinary fifth frame to win it before being denied cruelly at the last. And he's not really recovered from that. No, the, the other thing to note here is that uh, if he needed pink and black, it would be a different story, but he will only need the pink, Judd. So he could just play, if he got the cue where it is now, for instance, on the pink, roll it in. If he would have wanted to get from pink to black, well, that would be a different story. But he's still not great. He's going to have to leave himself at sort of mid-range. And if anyone can pop them at mid-range, it's this man. So this for the match, as I say, not the requirement of the black. A twist, a twist in the tail. Trump has overcut the pink. Wow. Extraordinary. So, Kyron Wilson breathes again. It's a strange shot, this. It's actually not very nice at this. I mean, it would cut in, I think, and it would be thin. Of course, the cue was careering across the table, likely to go in off. If he does, I don't think he's going to even go for this. It's very thin. So really, Judd was a bit fortunate. He played it in such a way that the Pink was never going to be far away from the pocket when he missed at the end of that break. I think he's going to have to go for this. I just don't think the safety shot is any easier than the pot. Of which the pot is clearly not easy, but... Rolling it, you're just in the lap of the, the gods, really, as to whether it will go in a straight line. But I think he did the right thing. It's not been a match about the big breaks, which is somewhat at odds with the rest of the tournament, but it's certainly been dramatic stuff. Trump looked for all the world as though he was moving through 5-2 there, but he's got to win this frame again now. Oh, that's a great shot, isn't it? What a terrific. I mean, that really is a marvellous shot. Yeah, that was a cracking shot. And for Wilson, it's not just about hitting the pink, not leaving it for Trump. First part of the equation achieved, but he's left the pink. And surely this time there'll be no mistake from Judd Trump. Well, it's been a battle. 5-2 probably doesn't really tell the story of this match. The fifth frame was a remarkable finale. Two of the most extraordinary <laughs> flukes you'll see back to back. But Judd Trump has got the job done in the end with something 
And he'll be delighted to be through once again to the semi-finals of the World Open. He's defending the title he won when this tournament was last staged back in 2019. And he's two matches away from a successful defence. He'll play Jackson Page next. He wins 5-2.